Hey y'all, Nani here. Welcome to my channel. You can call me Nani. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Uh, I'm out here with the dog Biscuit because Miss Paloma decided she needed to go for a little, we don't call it walks because she doesn't really go for a walk. She just does the thing. Sometimes she likes to sunbathe, but um, I thought you might like to see her. I don't know how to flip this thing, so how on earth do you flip it? Y'all, I'm old. I can't figure out how to flip my phone. I, it used to have a flippy thing on it. Well, there you go. Hopefully you can see her. Say hi, Paloma. Hey, Piggy, look. Piggy. Piggy, here's a biscuit. <gasps> Say hi there. Say hi there. There's Paloma. But we call her Piggy. Say hi. Say, can you say, can you say subscribe? Can you say subscribe? There you go. You did a good girl. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Uh-oh, getting your... Well, isn't that fun? Look at that. I'm not even sure what that is. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. You're just too kind. You're just too kind, honey. Yes. Mmm. We call those globbers. Sometimes she gets these long shoestring looking things hanging out the sides of her mouth. Have you ever seen the movie Turner and Hooch with uh, Tom Hanks? And it's a big old, I think it's one of them. Uh, God, what do you call those dogs? I think it might be a pit bull, but it seems like a big old pit bull. Maybe it's a mastiff or something. I don't know. Just the funniest movie. Oh my God, he's. Lord have mercy. Ooh. Ooh, I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. But it's called Turner and Hooch, and Tom Hanks is a detective think in LA or Boston or New York. I don't know. That's usually where they always are. Maybe Chicago. And I think he's about to retire or something like that. And I don't know why he doesn't have a partner. Maybe it's because he's about to retire. But anyway. Uh, spoilers. There's a murder. And it's, an, it's, an, it's one that's important for him to solve himself and one of the witnesses is the victim's dog who is like a junkyard dog and his name is Hooch and um, is that burning you is that burning your that's hot baby it's not too hot that's not too hot no if it's not too hot for my skin then it's not too hot for your skin okay anyway so, um, but, so they consider this dog to be a witness, and, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my baby, she's got something on her forehead, what is that? Lord, I, I get distracted, anyway, um, so, he has to keep Hooch, since he's a witness to this murder. And this dog just makes his life a living hell. He's a very, uh, what we would call anal retentive man. He's, um, likes everything that neat and tidy and perfect. And of course, as with any dog, but these dogs in particular, nothing's going to be perfect. Um, this dog chews up everything in sight. Chews up his couch, chews up his door, chews up his shoes, his clothes, his everything. He globbers all over everything. I mean, he's got these long shoestring like slobbers. I call them globbers that hang out of both sides of his mouth. And then he'll start shaking. You know how they do? And this 
the globber just goes flying everywhere. But uh, it's a funny, funny movie, and it's got a little bit of a love story in it, but it's cute, kind of like Lady in the Tramp style, you know what I mean? Um, but it's a movie, I think, from the 90s. I think. It can't be the eight, it can't be the 80s. I know it's not the 80s, so I think it's the 90s. Um, but it's good. It's a good, wholesome movie you can watch with your family. Um, there's a murder, but you don't, you know, you don't see anything, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it's a good movie. Um, I also watched today... Because I started, because, you know, I got my iPad fixed, so I started the, this uh, Apple TV app came up, even though I didn't open it or go get it, um, but it showed up on my thing, and, uh, what are you doing, girlfriend? She's so damn cute. Uh, look at that. Look at that cuteness. Are you the cutest little baby in the whole world? Baby. Okay, y'all probably can't even hear me. It's so dang windy. Um, but uh, anyway, so I got this app, this Apple TV app. I was, I've been seeing ads for Apple TV um, and some really good shows, but I'm like, oh shit, I can't. know how everything's all a cart now and so you end up paying five thousand dollars a month but also like what else are we gonna do okay especially me like major any major exercise that would take time and crafts is um out of the picture for me because i can't really use my hands Barking at? Hold on, she never barks. Who are you barking at? What are you barking at, girl? Huh? Okay. Well, she has decided. She, whatever it is, she doesn't like it. It's probably a bunny, to be truthful. It's probably a bunny, and she's just being a big old baby. But anyway, this Apple TV. They got some good shows. And mostly it's like Apple TV, but it gives you access to like Showtime and da 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 And it's like $5 a month. But I don't know if you like add extra money for, like if you want Apple TV plus Showtime, maybe it's more than $5 a month. But there's a free trial. And I'm sorry. I get real bad breathlessness and shortness of breath because <sighs> of my condition anyway so um but there's uh some really good shows on there i just watched this oprah special she talks about covid 19 and how y'all i am wearing some kind of uh pants that i would not want people to actually see me in and I heard somebody hammering, so I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you're in those kind of capri pants you wouldn't necessarily wear to the store. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. But it was just an hour thing. And Apple TV is showing a lot of stuff for free because of COVID-19. They're like, you know, we know a lot of y'all are stuck inside and want to be entertained and all that so anyway this Oprah show it was just Oprah talks about COVID-19 but how it's really impacted the African-American communities and it was really disturbing because I've never heard any of these numbers you know and it's like I mean part of that's my fault because I don't really watch the news because when you're watching stuff a la carte, I don't choose to watch the news because 
most of the time it's boring or it's political but when I have watched the news and they're talking about COVID-19 stuff first of all in Texas they're uh, they're barely talking about it they're certainly not talking about it like like they're devastated it's happening oh a black, a black butterfly oh my god it was so beautiful anyway um they're certainly not talking about it like I don't know I just don't think they're treating it with the importance it needs to be treated with but they're certainly not giving us the numbers of how a majority of the deaths are African Americans I did not know that And, ooh, it's just, of course, everything makes me cry, but it brought me to tears. And Jennifer Hudson, ooh, I can't even talk about it. It's going to make me cry. Damn it, I hate, I hate being menopausal. But at the end, Oprah had her on, and it was all done via Skype or whatever. But she sang this song called Moan. Ooh, Lord. That she wrote about her mama because... She said her mama told her that, you know, when she's upset about stuff and she said something about, I know I'm going to mess it up because my memory sucks and it was way more beautiful the way she said it, but she said, you know, life is going to show you things the longer you're around, you know, the more life is going to show you and you just gotta, sometimes to get through it, the only thing you can do is just moan. So Jennifer wrote this song for her mama. And, uh, man, it was beautiful. And it was at the end of the show, after Oprah had got done talking to many different people in the community that are covering it, either via reporting, or their doctors, or their preachers. Or people that lost people. And, uh, I mean, this one man lost his sister, who he thought of as his mama, and his brother, I think. And these other people lost their daddy and husband. And uh, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. And thankfully, uh, I don't know anybody that's had it. Certainly nobody that's died from it. I hope none of y'all have either. But I would just suggest that you seek information from more than just one source. Seek information, you know. I've kind of been hiding from it. Having an autoimmune disorder it scares me a little bit I think that's why I've kind of been like just like oh I'll walk you know I'll listen to that stuff later I'll watch it later whatever <sighs> but I think we all have to pay attention you know I mean I know what not to do and and I know about social distancing and all that surface level stuff but I'm talking about like the impact that it's making on certain communities and you know, it's just never, never good to let anything blind you, you know, even if, out of fear or whatever. But that's my happy post for today. Yay! Um, it is Friday. So, I mean, for me, every day is Friday right now. But for a lot of y'all out there working... Uh, thank you for keeping this big old ball rolling, especially those of you on the front lines. Thank you so much. Uh, and I hope you have a restful weekend. Um, and I hope you, I hope you get to live a lifestyle much like this young one right here. Because 
this young thing is living the lifestyle of the lavish, okay? She's got a good, she got it better than I do for sure. Better than anyone living in this house does. I don't know if she, maybe not better than the cats. Probably just as good as the cats though. They're all spoiled. But they give us cuddles and they make us happy, so they're worth it. Aren't you worth it? Are you ready to go inside? I'm ready. I gotta go sit down. I gotta go take care of some Cobra stuff. We got Cobra insurance stuff I gotta work on again today. Yippee! But again, I'm thankful that uh, I have it, you know? There's so many people that aren't even blessed enough to have that. And here I am complaining that I gotta go deal with COVID. But first, let's take a gander at my babies, y'all. My plant babies, okay? Okay, first I gotta miss them. Hold on. I wish I could flip this thing. Look at that. Look at my babies. Look at my babies, y'all. Do you see this? Those are little baby succulents. How cute is that? I just plucked them off. They weren't doing so well. You know. So I plucked them. And they just started sprouting. First they started rooting. This one's kind of slow. And these are my favorite. This is called a chocolate soldier. This is a calancho. These are my favorite. But they're slow to grow. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but here's another one. Not again, not doing so great, but we're trying. We're trying. We're gonna keep trying. This is a panda, which is another kind of calancho. It's called a panda though. But they're just so cute. Oh, they're just so cute. I mean, look at this. Uh, hello, I'm just a tiny little baby plant. Look how cute. This one fell right off the leaf it was on because it's it sucked all the juices out of the, you know, out, out of the leaf like first. When, the, when this leaf first started, you know, it was green and fat, right? Yeah. And so this little plant here is getting all of its juices from this leaf. So that's why. But finally, this little thing broke off of its, uh, I guess we'll call it its mother leaf. I don't know. And I think these are fixing to fall off too. So I got to figure out. I've been putting it off because that's what I do. It's my nature. But I'm trying to find out, propagating, what do I do next? You know what I mean? What do I do with these babies? Oh, I can't bend over anymore. And I got a rosemary over here. Uh. I think I gotta get her in the light or something. She's she's dry. Oh Lord, she's dry. Girl, you're dry. I'm gonna get you some water. Just bear with me, honey. Let's at least get you some of this. I know that this is not, you know, I know. Um, a lot of this is from last time I had Henry. We had Orbeez and we blew them up real big. And I had these white rocks I was using as decoration. And so he decided he wanted to mix the white rocks up with the Orbeez. So, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna have to throw all these white rocks away because I don't know how to get them separated. I guess I could put them in a big old, I don't know, something, whatever those things are called with the holes in them, where you rinse them. But anyway, that's what we were doing last time. Got this thing going, fill, try to fill it up with rocks through this funnel. We had a good old time. That was in March. It's the last time I saw him. And I'm hurting y'all. Hurting real bad. I had a, I think I told you I posted about that yesterday. <sighs> it's hard. But, Counting my blessings. 
because I know he's safe and he's okay with his mama and his daddy is in the best place safest place he could possibly be so so I'm happy and I'm blessed I just miss him so much and I miss my little hopper too anyway I gotta go inside y'all I got stuff to do but first thing on the agenda have a little rest because I'm tired. Oh, one more thing this Apple TV stuff. So, after the Oprah thing, ooh, there's Oliver looking in the window. He's mad because he's not out here. I don't know if any of y'all ever watched the show Penny Dreadful. This is not something, this is not a show to be watching with any of your kids around. I think it was around in the 2010s or 15s I don't know after the 90s everything just kind of blurs but uh, Penny Dreadful great show well now there's one that says it's called Penny Dreadful City of Angels and it's like this old time like 1940s detective type noir n-o-i-r noir you know um, but it's got, oh God, what, what is her name? She was in, um, crap. She was in Game of Thrones. And she was the one who, I think her mom was a really, really old lady queen. And, and God, I think her name started with an M, but she was real sassy and beautiful. And she and, and her, her brother was set to be married to somebody else but he was really gay so he was secretly in love with another uh dude and the oh, mm, mm, mm. um and anyway she ended up in a dungeon uh because of Cersei's stupid ass bitch um and her brother ended up in the in the dungeon too and I don't remember what her name was but she was House of Targaryen. No, Targaryen? Does that sound right? Targaryen? I don't know. Anyway, it's her. And she's absolutely gorgeous. But she's in this show. The beginning of this show is... I've only watched it 20 minutes. But the beginning of this show is so... Beautifully filmed. The this scene, you'll know what I'm talking about it when you watch it, is beautiful. Anyway, you can watch at least the first episode free, but it just, the first episode came out, it's on Showtime on uh, April 25th, so there's probably not going to be a whole lot of them to see right now. Um, there's probably only one. Damn it. I wish everything let you binge. I hate waiting for stuff. But anyway. Ooh, it starts out with a real... The first 20 minutes are like just scary and but but beautiful and wicked you know what I mean but then there's some because it's a detective story of course there's murders and these first set of murders are like really ooh. they kind of remind me of the um, Black Dahlia murders but anyway y'all I've been talking too much, but I had to tell you about that. Those two things. Hopefully you can start your weekend off right. With something that's going to make your heart break a little bit. But I think everybody needs to see. Which is Oprah's COVID-19. You can see that on Apple TV. And then, something that's going to scare your pants off. Which is Penny Dreadful City of Angels. So, so good. And I'll keep you posted on other stuff. Because I'm just watching a bunch of stuff. <laughs> You know, I've been trying to play, play my game Ghost Recon, but one, it's hard for me to play because of my hands, but two, I can't play during the day because of my husband, because he has work, and then at night, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to play a game, you know, so I guess I'll just play it on the weekends, but anyway, that's it. Uh, if I don't get back on here before, I hope y'all have a good weekend. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, all of that, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye.